Joining me now is U.S. Surgeon General, Dr. Jerome Adams. Dr. Adams, thank you for joining me today again. I know uh, there's a lot going on still with the pandemic uh, continuing, but there's also a lot to look ahead, uh, especially when we talk about uh, what's been going on with the vaccine rollout and, and other things. But first, I want to get to uh, a report that you have authored, which focuses on something that really uh, uh, got a really big spotlight during the pandemic during 2020, and that was health inequities. And in this report, you talk about the role of businesses. And I believe that, um, you know, in the past several years, we've really seen a shift in the way that corporate America looks at their role in this, uh, whether you talk about corporate social responsibility or just uh, sort of one-off programs where they partner in the communities. And, and your report looks at that. But my question to you is, a, a lot of the things that we know are wrong uh, with the system are, are known as systemic racial issues. And so I wonder why put the spotlight on businesses when the government also has such a large role to play in this problem? Well, that's a great question. And as you mentioned, I'm putting out a, a Surgeon General's report unlike any ever before. Uh, it's entitled Community Health and Economic Prosperity, Engaging Businesses. And it's not to say that government doesn't have a role or that each and every one of us um, doesn't have a role, but it really starts with the premise that the US has what we call a health disadvantage. We pay more for health care than any other nation by far, but yet we have uh, not so great health outcomes. And this actually impacts our business bottom line. Uh, U.S. businesses pay more than 20% of U.S. healthcare costs. And so what we're trying to help uh, businesses and communities understand, and, and COVID has shown this in stark detail, is that businesses cannot prosper for long when they exist in an unhealthy community and with unhealthy stakeholders. Uh, you look at the fact that we've got record unemployment we have the highest uh, decline in economic output ever uh, in 2020. And why did that happen? It happened because of poor health secondary to COVID that existed in our communities, superimposed on top of poor health that already existed in communities. And uh, I just want to finish by saying that you highlighted an important point to this, that uh, we do have to look at uh, bias, racism, We've got to look at giving everyone an opportunity. And this report lists exemplars from across the spectrum who really uh, lean into these social determinants of health to make sure everyone has an opportunity to be healthy. I know that uh, this is interesting time to have this discussion because like I mentioned, you know, during uh, the, the outbreak, we've seen a lot of uh, the issues come to light, but we've also seen uh, in large part because of the administration's decision to utilize uh, some of these major companies for the, the whether you're talking about uh, testing or distribution of vaccines or just distribution uh, of other protective gear and manufacturing of that. There's been a very uh, heavy spotlight on uh, corporate America and on these businesses. Uh, so we've seen them take on that role. Uh, is it different uh, to be able to do that? Is there something that you saw from that experience versus if we had relied solely on government uh, to respond to the pandemic? Well, a lot of our capacity uh, in the United States lies in the private sector. A lot of the, uh, the ability to innovate lies in the private sector. And quite frankly, a lot of the decision-making is driven by the private sector. This report started well before COVID, even though it's particularly timely, with my own personal observation that health was often pitted against business. And unfortunately, when health gets pitted against business, usually health loses. Whether you're talking about the fact that we still have uh, cigarettes out there, which we know harm people, or whether you're talking about climate change, or whether you're talking about the conflict that we still see play out between the economic harm of COVID and the health harms of COVID. And I want people to understand they're not oppositional. They are one in the same. And healthy communities are more prosperous, but unhealthy communities are, are less prosperous. And what we want to do as we recover from COVID is help everyone understand that uh, you can do things like the wonderful company, which instituted a $15 minimum wage, American Express, uh, which gives up to six months of leave to new moms. There are so many examples out there which we uh, really lay out in this report with the help of the Chamber of Commerce and uh, the UVA Darden School of Business 
to help businesses understand the roles that they can play in creating healthier communities and a healthy bottom line. Absolutely. Looking forward now, though, uh, we know that there is uh, this week an incoming new administration in the middle of a pandemic. It's a very unique, unique time for you to be in your position. Uh, if you were to, to look to talk to your earlier self uh, around this time last year or maybe even a couple of months, what would you do differently compared to what has been done in order to change the trajectory of what happened in this country? Well, one of the things that I think we really need to do, and uh, if I had to do it over again, uh, I would double down on this, is really emphasizing the uncertainty of new and evolving infectious diseases. In many cases, uh, we believed that COVID would behave the same as its cousins have behaved in the past. And that caused us to make some statements early on that were based on the science as we knew it at the time but which also caused individuals to then feel like we weren't being honest with them when we had to change our recommendations. Uh, I would also uh, do what we're doing with this report and really uh, help people understand, even if they aren't worried about health harms themselves, uh, help them understand that when we create healthier environments and in COVID's case, through wearing a mask, washing your hands and uh, watching your distance and getting vaccinated, that when we do these things, we actually keep restaurants open, we keep businesses and schools open, uh, we, we in turn are more prosperous individually and as societies. So, uh, uh, you know, it really comes all back to, we're all in this together and when we all create a healthier environment, we all benefit. That'll do it. U.S. Surgeon General Jerome Adams, thank you so much for the time. Thank you. Check out my report at surgeongeneral.gov. And everyone, stay safe. The finish line's in sight. We've just got to keep running through the tape.